Where to? Wherever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. A plan or no plan. We choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. We only have one lead, Shay. Let's hope it brings us closer to the artifacts. Sir Achilles tasked you with this mission? No. He tasked me to task you. We need to find what was stolen from Mackendall, Shay. You have to recover the precursor box of manuscript. This is your mission. And what's yours? <laughs> Watch your arse. Achilles doesn't really trust me, does he? Give it time, Shay. Do this for him. For us, I do much more than earn his trust. Liam, do you know what Achilles writes about? I see him in his office all the time, bent over his papers. He keeps records and accounts, studies what little is known about the pieces of Eden. And of course, he corresponds with assassins on other continents. Of course. Liam, you can be a right horse's arse when it comes to assuming everyone knows the same as you. I cannot help if Achilles wants me to be familiar with our counterparts in Europe and elsewhere. Said like his favorite son. Connor's his favorite and only son. Then Achilles is there. Connor may inherit the house, but you'll be mentor. We'll see. Whatever you say, Prince Regent of the Assassins. You call me that again. I'll throw you the old. Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the tongue in France. Ah, the cabbage farmer has returned. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our ally has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, Shay. When the time comes, they will lend aid and help us fight the Templars. If only there was beef would realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about Le Chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So, Liam, what could you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. Aye. I had the honor of working with him once. I've never known anyone who'd done so much for our cause. But it's much more than that. Adi Wale was already a legend before joining the Brotherhood. He was a pirate. The scourge of the West Indies. <laughs> Rubbing elbows with the likes of Blackbeard, Woods Rogers and Calico Jack Rackham. There, Captain. An English vessel. And she looks to be in trouble. That's fine indeed. Perhaps we should aid her journey to the bottom of the sea. Now let's not be too hasty. She's got a crown cargo. Take a look for your spyglass and see for yourself. I say this is a good day to lighten the boat upon it. Be careful. A 
few shots should be Don't want to sink her. Now's the time. Let's board her. We can board and loot her before the crew knows what hit them. Show them what's for, Captain. Come on, man. Spires are ours. For the Morrigan. The sea between here and Anticostia is rough, Captain. We should strengthen the Morgan before going any further. There's a harbour master stationed nearby. We could spend our new wealth on improvements. I didn't realize there was a brotherhood in Haiti. Yes. Francois McCandle is their mentor. He gathers many of his assassins from the maroons. Those are escaped slaves and their children, right? They are. A shame, though. He escaped terrible conditions only to be killed in that earth. But Haiti's a French colony now. Aye, oh, it is. And here, the assassins are helping King Louis. But in Haiti, the French own the slaves who are set free by the assassins. Our struggle is beyond political borders, Shay. Anticosti shouldn't be far. Keep us on course, Captain. Mate! Get the maid sails into the wind. The materials we have aboard can spread our wings to the wind. Fishermen and their gear. Per se and fishing go hand in hand. But it will serve our purposes well enough. The French fish these waters first, but King George is laying claim to more every year. The locals are caught in the middle. Anchor away!
will you be needing today then? Thanks for your trust, Captain. We should resume course to Anticosti, Captain. Indeed. The chasseur is waiting for us. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. The Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. Ah! On your mark, Captain! Ships ahoy! More fishermen from Perse. Patrols these waters closely, Captain. Enemy ships! They're sinking the fishing boats! You must believe those fishermen strayed into their waters. Hey! Would you look at that? That is right in our way, Captain. Just say you sink every last one of them. For once, I find myself agreeing with you, Shake. Stranger things have happened. Ah! 
Salt air, open skies. Man out on the ocean is as free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? We're out here for a reason, Shay. Mind your duty. What's the point of freedom if you cannot breathe deep and enjoy it? The temperate stick to this constant like tar. Don't feel liberated until we pry them off. Seems to me we should just talk to them like men, instead of skulking around. And would you smile and wish them a good day as they lay their boot on your neck? Of course not. They're murdered bastards who want to control the world and everyone in it. I never forget. Chasseur should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. Douse the rails and tops! Loose up! Get the yards off the wind! Hold them in! Get off! Dock the ship here, Captain. We've arrived at Anticosti Island. Go on ahead, Shay. We will meet you at the fort. The rum here is terrible. Let me see. That's not rum. It's eau de vie. What the devil is that? Whiskey. Well, the whiskey here is terrible. I miss my Marie. Such a true and fine heart is hard to find. Where did you meet her? At her third wedding. <laughs> I slipped into the feast. I would say you slipped into more than that. So, Louis Joseph, how goes the fur trade? <laughs> Not well enough to put beef on my family's plates. If you want beef, raid more British bricks. They're loaded down with barrels. Oh, yes. Their Irish farms yield much meat, don't they? Well, that is smart management. Far better than the locals could do. Take a look at this. I borrow these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. 
Le chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Sheikh Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Where there no charts, no, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could ken Where's the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay, let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks.